What's up? I'm Chris Hewitt, or as I'm known in the world of competitive Super Smash Brothers Brawl, Zigster. Looking to get in on the brawling too? Well then you're in luck. I've interviewed some of the top Smashers from Texas and the surrounding area in order to break down the basics of competitive Super Smash Brothers Brawl. This is Brawl 101. There's 37 different characters in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, all with unique playstyles. These characters are divided into 7 different tiers depending on how they fare against other characters. The higher the character is in the tier list, the better that character is. Let's check out what some Smashers had to say about why they play their character. I feel that whenever it comes to Mar, playstyle wise, if you're a good player, it's reflected by him. He doesn't have any cheap tricks. It's all about just reading what your opponent does. I play him due to his mobility and his ability to allow you to punish and read your opponent. I like his explosives. A lot of people play him in a boring way. I like to make him faster and you know, stuff going out. It took a long time actually for me to decide my main character because they all have so many different play styles. And I really wanted the main link, but he's bad. So I started playing Game of Watch and he just he just felt right. He's pretty much the most entertaining character because you can do so many things in so many different ways. You're not stuck to a pattern. I found I to be the most comfortable and at the same time I can't rely solely on his abilities. Like I have to actually develop my own like state of mind and like learn to think things through and gain like experience and that's how I'm getting better. One character in particular is pretty wicked to say the least. His name's Meta Knight, and he's the source of the most heated debate in the entire history of Super Smash Bros. Should Meta Knight be banned or not? I talked to Alan Sims, one of the pro band movement's leading spokespersons, as to why he feels Meta Knight should be banned from tournament play. Throughout Brawl's entire life, um, there have been people that have been good people or mediocre people. They couldn't with their main, so they switched to Meta Knight and they went. It didn't happen in Melee, it didn't happen in 64. It don't happen, but in Brawl it happens. You pick Meta Knight, you automatically do better. You may not win a tournament, that's not the point. You're stealing wins from people who don't, you know, you're taking wins you don't deserve, you didn't earn. You press the B button, you press the C stick 50 times down, I mean, it doesn't take any skill whatsoever. Meta Knight can take any character, give them any percent, doesn't matter. People like Samus, other low tiers, hell, you take Mark, they have to earn their wins, they have to earn their stocks. Meta Knight, none of them. But you can't just stay within your own state. To improve, an up-and-coming smasher should attend out-of-state tournaments as well. You get so much more experience because staying in your own state, you'll play the same people, which isn't bad, but there's so many other people with just more like different variety of skill levels. So it's, it's definitely better always to go out of state. The only way you really can get better is if you move away from that circle of only five players you play all the time and go out of state and meet all these other people that you would have never met before. Just meet new people, have fun, you know? Show people some stuff that you may know they don't. Before this documentary is a wrap, here's some final advice for would-be Smashers. Go to Smashboard, it's a great website. Like, everyone there, there are guides for every character. You get to, like, choose which one you want to play. You watch all the videos of the great people playing and see what you need to do. And they've also got crushed the Q&A threads. So all of the players just ask any more questions that let's you. So if they want to win, I say they like, you know, don't bother playing with a bad character or a normal character, just go for the best. But if they want to just like approve their name for like a certain character like me, um, I'd say, you know, you're going to have to look for it, play a lot of matches, gain experience, and you know, just learn how to like adjust to like different opponents. Never give up and just always try to be the best, because that's how I started. Like, I always want to try to be the best. And a lot of people play, but you got to want to win. 